is up guys, it's Rocky here. Welcome back to Game with Kids. Today we have Looney Tunes World of Mayhem. We're gonna get into the shock and awe event. I know there's really not a lot of time left as these events go by extremely fast, but I've been trying to contact Looney Tunes World of Mayhem to fix an issue when it comes to playing this game. There's some things that pop up where the loading screen, it takes too long for me to, to load into a game. And this usually happens around Battle 3, Battle 4, like more in the later ones on different missions. It, it, it kind of is, is spontaneous on what those are. But I contacted them, they said they couldn't do anything about it, so that put a bad sour taste in my mouth a little bit because I'm here trying to make content for you guys. But if I'm not able to accomplish these events because of an in-game issue, how am I supposed to do that? And especially if they don't know what to, what to do to fix it. That That's a big, big problem with me. I still love making Looney Tunes World of Mayhem content, so I'm gonna continue to do that. Shock and uh, Awe Part 1. We're gonna see if we have the appropriate characters together on getting this achieved. And we do not. So that's something that we gotta work on. We have some tickets that we can do today too. But I wanted to show you guys just some of the things and kind of update you guys on the issues and then shock and all part uh, that is not going to be a thing either because we don't have these characters. But what we can do is the ultimate show, part one, as this one allows me to bring any tunes. But we may get to see what the issue is that I'm talking about possibly in today's video. Um, if it ends up being on a really long loading screen, then that's definitely what it is here as well. But as you guys already know, more than likely, this event is another grindable new character event where you can get a new Elmer this time around on that. Also, we did just get a new battle pass started, so be on the lookout for that if you guys are into the battle pass. The way I see battle passes is if you're able to achieve all the the levels and if you're somebody who is willing to buy, I recommend playing the game first because you are able to do the missions um, without paying for the battle pass. But if you're able to get all the way through without having to pay for it and then you complete it and you know you can complete it, that's when you may need to make the decision of, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and buy the battle pass. Unless it's too late this, this, this season. For the battle pass to be a thing but we are trucking on through trying to get some of these characters added to the collection as I absolutely love all the Looney Tunes characters and mainly trying to get my Space Jam team up as I'm still trying to uh, work on that as you guys know that from the past couple videos we've been trying to get some Nova Alters on getting that the Cosmic Stars up on some of my Space Jams we did get some good ones and even some I missed completely didn't even notice but Definitely took note once I was doing the editing process. Also, I am trying to do a challenge through the end of the year. I'm trying to hit 500 subscribers as best as I possibly can. If you guys can do me a favor, share it with a friend. and uh, Or if you guys aren't subscribing, then that subscribe button is not yet to be pressed. So make sure you guys go ahead and do that. We're going to be doing a bunch of Looney Tunes World of Man content um, for sure. But uh, mainly, I'm trying to get caught up. Um, on trying to figure out a way to continue to make the content for you guys because I'm, I'm what what is the issue is being terrified of going into this long loading screen where I'm just sitting there in and not being able to do anything because it's an in-game issue it has nothing to do with me um, I've done everything they asked I rebooted it I uh, uninstalled it reinstalled it I did everything and it's still giving me some issues um, so that's very very unfortunate but this one it's going to ask for us to bring one featured event tune, which is all fine and dandy. And another thing is that bothers me about this game that I've noticed is it, I don't think it's okay for you to grind out these events and then they not be available for a day or two after the events are finished. Because how are you supposed to spend something if you by chance have work or can't do it because something came up and they expect you to do it within those three days or even you know three days in a couple hours or whatever it is for the events to be able to use them. So I don't know what's up with that. I think that needs to be adjusted because doing three day events is not only, it, it's just so sh such a short time. It needs to be like a week long um, event. I know we have the calendar and kind of helps us with that for the most part, but you're like literally have to spend it unless, if you don't spend it, you pretty much lose it for that time being, for trying to get things done for that. So all these little, extras that I'm doing, if I don't get them a lot of this done by tomorrow, 
because it's literally uh, yeah today so it'll only have a couple hours left so tomorrow by the time this is uploaded it's it's not going to be enough time for me to get it done unless I do it anytime on the day that this is being uploaded otherwise it's literally going to go to waste and, and I would have done all this grind for nothing so be on the lookout for that if you see if you start to see characters that are repeats for each event definitely focus on those primarily um, like if I would have known that these that I would have need needed to get my uh, egghead up more I mean it's up pretty decent but if I needed if I knew from the previous previous event that I was gonna need more that I definitely would have focused on it but it's just any events characters that you see that are repeats that you start to notice definitely focus on them first before you focus on anything else because for example I probably won't see a space shame event for quite some time so I need to focus on some of these event characters but you also have to be careful because maybe they won't be back for a good amount of time too so there, there's just a lot of different factors into it, and I definitely would like to know when a new Space Jam event is coming. And I hope they bring out the Goon Squad. That is definitely something I'm highly looking forward to. Um, especially since they already got these characters in there. It would make sense for the Goon Squad to be involved too. Even if it's the original. I think the original would be great. It would be awesome. And I mean, they're going through these characters like No Tomorrow. I mean, they're adding a bunch of new characters very rapidly, so... I see, I, I see it being a possibility, a high possibility. It's just all a matter of time. So now we're down to two featured characters here. And we should be pretty good with this one. But I definitely need to upgrade Yosemite a little bit because that's not enough. So we'll go ahead and get him to 38. Watch it. Also upgrade some of these. Just a little bit. Yeah, well, that is my little bit. <laughs> And we got some good cosmic stars on that Yosemite right there, so we got to keep a lookout on that, make some progress, and uh, hope for the best. Also, guys, do me a favor. There is a bonus link in the description box below of Linktree, where it showcases all my other channels. Definitely check out the vlog channel here because I will be gone in less than two weeks on a cruise, so I would love you guys to check that channel out and check out my adventures that I do there and behind the scenes as well as my Rockies Collection channel if you guys enjoy Pokemon content because that channel is trying to be built up to where I can eventually give away some items or the items that I do find in the stores. I want to sell them on my eBay shop for what I find them for only charge the shipping on top of that um, to help people that don't have the ability to get them or are in an area where there's like one Walmart or something like that where they can't do it. So or when, when one Walmart is they got a scalper that's there all the time that like takes the products and then like triples the price yeah so I'm trying to trying to do my part in the world where I can do you know some fun with that and you know not charge a ridiculous price literally just charge the shipping price of what it's gonna cost to send that item whatever item it is to the customer so they can get and enjoy opening up products I and mean, that is my ultimate goal is to try to do that I get people trying to make money but you know, you're doing it in the wrong way where it's making it ridiculous for those who have been collecting not being able to do it and, and having to pay ridiculous amount of prices that people will pay for. <laughs> but that's just that little bit of story, but where are we getting some progress done? I'm really ex happy that I haven't run into... Okay, I was about to say, knock on wood, that I didn't run into a loading screen issue so far. So that's a really good plus right there. Making progress on not running into an in-game error. And the only thing that they did for me was they literally only sent me like a couple energies. Whatever energy that I used to try to play it, which makes no sense. It should have been like some tickets or some gems. I don't know. I feel like they definitely, you know, when when you say that you are you're talking with it, conversing and telling them you are a content creator, that should be more of an incentive of like, yeah, I should probably try to help and take care of this customer. Just saying. Right, now we need three of them here. But we'll go ahead and end there for now. As you guys can see, currently right now with my roster that I have, I will not be able to do the shock at all until I get them unlocked, which is probably not going to happen in a certain amount of time. And then I'll be, I will try to get back into the studio, which I actually will be in the studio uh, tomorrow, 
to be able to record some event content now it will probably flow over into the day that it's off cycle as well so be keeping that in mind um i, I just want to try to build consistent content on the channel with looney tunes with mayhem and build up a little bit of other things right now because i am switching priorities where this is going to be more of a priority because the viewership here is definitely much more than some of my other channels right now it is, is in a slow period for the anime gaming content but You'll be seeing some more Looney Tunes content here shortly. Um, I'll probably that'll probably be the only video that I do right here of this one because I'm probably gonna miss out. Uh, we'll see tomorrow on if I'm able to do more content. I just have to balance out: am I gonna work extra or am I gonna come into the studio and do that? But what y'all can do, like I said, subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to me. We're gonna be working hard. I'm gonna be producing some content and let me know if there's anything you guys want me to work on team-wise or what kind of video ideas you guys want me to do when it comes to Looney Tunes World of Mayhem content. Should I go into the arena battles and do random team builds where I do like an all Sylvester team, all Bunny, a Bugs Bunny team and stuff like that. Let me know, I'll definitely hop on that as soon as I can, whatever ideas you guys have. And then I'm gonna also start focusing on Sea Tower as I definitely need to do that. And I do wanna update you guys really quick on where my current roster is um, on uh, level wise. So I am working on uh, Foghorn, a little by little, I need to get more baseballs. Let's see if there's any more baseballs um, in the league store. I hope so. Fingers crossed. No, but I do have basketballs. Take a couple of those. Because definitely need to be prepared, over prepared when it comes to basketballs because I will need them for my boy LeBron. see so there's that all I need is the baseballs I could pay five bucks for it but I'm not gonna put any money into it right now we may do that in the future and I have my basketballs but like I said I am over preparing and I need to build up my Warner Brothers Studios Adams and in order to do that I have to have maxed out characters where I just get more shards of them which is not the easy of things when it comes to the movie team so there's that that I have to factor in and it's gonna be a lot of grinding it's gonna be a lot of fun Stick around, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff on the channel. And if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure you like, subscribe, and favorite show with a friend or two or three. As always, look great, work hard, and so enjoy me next time for some more YouTube to the man content or any other content I provide for you guys on the channel. Bye, guys.